Well, the numbers are in, and while Tesla couldn't do it last year, they sure did do it this year. Tesla just became the top-rated luxury brand in the United States, not for EVs, but for all cars. Let's take a look. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. So first I'm gonna read through this Drive Tesla article and I'm gonna leave the source, of course, in the description if you're interested in looking at it yourself. And then I'm gonna talk about the consequences just a little bit, because this is a really, really big deal. So as they say in their title, Tesla thumps BMW because it wasn't even close to claim title of top US luxury brand in 2022 for the first time. Tesla has done what it wasn't able to do in 2021 and overtaken BMW to claim the title of the top luxury car brand in the US for 2022. This marks the first time a US automaker has held this title in nearly 25 years and the final results weren't even close. So that takes us all the way back to the late 1990s. I'm not sure what the last US brand would be, probably Cadillac, I would guess. But anyway, it is <laughs> not since the 2000s have happened has a US brand taken the top luxury brand in the United States. Continuing on, in 2021, Tesla sold just 23,244 fewer vehicles than BMW in the US. But in 2022, Tesla completely flipped the book. According to estimates from the Automotive News Research and Data Center, Tesla sold more than 491,000 cars in the United States last year, more than 56% higher than what they were able to sell in 2021. That is a whopping 158,612 more vehicles than BMW, which sold 332 2,388 cars in the U.S. during the same time period, down 1.3% from 2022. So again, just to reiterate, Tesla increased their sales by 56% in 2022, while BMW was down 1.3% from 2021 figures. As Drive Tesla Canada says, making the accomplishment even more impressive is that Tesla increased their sales 56%, while overall sales in the U.S. luxury segment dropped by 8%. And by the way, that sales figure reflects the entire auto industry in the U.S. It declined by about 8%. So as many people, including me, have noted, the overall auto industry sales last year in 2022 dropped, while Tesla increased 40% overall and 56% in the United States. That is pretty dominant. Continuing on, after BMW, the figures drop even further with Mercedes-Benz in third place at 286,764 sales, followed by Lexus at 258,000 and change, Audi at 100 186,000 and change, Cadillac at 134,000 and change, Acura at 102,000 and change, and Volvo at 102,000 and change. It's interesting that Volvo counts as a luxury brand. I never really thought of it as that, but it is a rather expensive vehicle, so I guess it flows into the luxury vehicle category. With the strong year, Tesla has now been able to secure two-thirds of the EV market share in the U.S., according to registration data from Experian. To give an idea of how much of a commanding lead that is, Tesla's market share is more than the rest of the industry combined. And actually, if you look at it, it's double what the rest of the industry combined is. Now that Tesla has taken the crown as the top luxury brand in the US, the next question is who will be the one to take it away from them and when? With BMW being more than 158,000 cars away, it looks like it will take a while for them or anyone else to again come close to Tesla's figures. So that's the text of the article, and I remember last year in January of 2022, all of us were talking about how close Tesla was to BMW in terms of sales and taking the top luxury brand leadership position away from BMW. And now, obviously, they didn't just squeak by and win by a few hundred vehicles, they won by more than 158,000 vehicles. So what does this mean for Tesla, for BMW, for the overall luxury market in the United States and the world, and of course, for the larger auto market in general? Well, first of all, it obviously shows Tesla's dominance. It shows that they were able to grow radically in a year that everybody else shrank. And when people talk about the 40% increase in sales and being rather disappointing for Tesla in 2022, you really do have to put that in context of the entire auto market shrinking by about 8% overall during that year. So Tesla's figures are, you know, kind of more impressive than you might think. So if you figured that the rest of the auto market would be flat and that Shanghai wouldn't have been shut down for an entire month, so Tesla would have had about 100,000 more vehicles to sell in 2022, they would have been looking to a much closer to 50% sales increase. 
So again, we're looking at really impressive figures by Tesla, and I know that people are disappointed that they didn't hit their 50% delivery increase, but there were a lot of headwinds, and with a recession coming on, and with the auto market, and especially the luxury market going down, because remember, Tesla vehicles are categorized as luxury vehicles, and for a good reason, they're rather expensive vehicles. So they are fighting for a, a, a market that's shrinking, right? You've got a middle class to upper middle class group of people who can afford to purchase a vehicle that's that expensive. So your market, you know, your total addressable market or TAM is not that large for Tesla. It's still a rather expensive vehicle. And that means the fact that it was able to grow while you see all of these other luxury brands shrinking or growing barely at all, right? You see that BMW was actually down 1.3% in 2022, while Tesla grew 56% in the United States and 40% overall in the globe. So you're looking at a market that is becoming increasingly competitive and Tesla is basically eating the lunch of everybody. I don't think there was a single luxury brand brand that actually went up last year. I think the only other manufacturer that increased legacy manufacturer like large one was GM. And of course, their only luxury brand is Cadillac, which did not sell a huge number of vehicles last year. So certainly in the United States, we're looking at Tesla completely dominating the EV market, but also now dominating the luxury brand market. And as the article states, I don't know who's going to take that crown from Tesla. We're not talking about Tesla won by like, you know, 2000 vehicles last year. So BMW could make a comeback next year. In fact, probably next year, we're going to see these figures actually increase. We'll probably see Tesla defeating BMW for top luxury brand by several hundred thousand as opposed to 158,000. So we could be looking at a, just a widening gap over time. And that's not only remarkable, but also must be terrifying for all of these luxury brands. Of course, in Europe and especially in China, which are the two other largest car markets in the world, the, the, the figures are a lot closer because Tesla is not nearly as dominant in those regions. But you're still looking at Tesla being either very competitive or on top, depending on which metrics you're looking at, you know, luxury vehicle brands, EV brands, etc. But anyway, Tesla is doing really, really well globally and absolutely crushing it in the United States. And here's the real kicker. The rumors are that sometime this year, Tesla is going to announce the Model 2 vehicle. I've done videos on that if you're interested in looking at that. But when they introduce this twenty-five dollars to $30,000 much less expensive vehicle, they're going to drop from the luxury brand you know, price point. They're going to drop down into the mass market price point. And they probably won't produce any vehicles in 2023 at that price point. But you're already looking at the Tesla Model 3 in China being somewhere on the order of below $35,000 now. So it's starting to drop into that mass market type of range. But if and when they can produce this other vehicle, likely in 2024, it'll start coming out. That thing is going to be in the mass market and Tesla's going to do to the mass market what they've been doing to the luxury auto brands. And wildly enough, we may not even have to wait for that to happen because the Model Y, Elon Musk predicted that the Model Y was going to be the biggest selling single model vehicle in the world in 2023. And it really is on track to do that. So it could sell more than the Toyota Camry, the RAV4, other, you know, traditionally very, very strong vehicles that have been at the top of the sales heap. And if Tesla does that with the Model Y, which again, you know, remember is an expensive vehicle at this point, what is going to happen when they release a car that's under $30,000? It's going to be a complete bloodbath. And speaking of bloodbaths, if you haven't been paying attention, also Tesla recently, you know, slashed their prices in China, which everybody was freaking out about. But what happened was that I, there are rumors, at least, I don't know that this has been absolutely confirmed, that they delivered 10,000 vehicles in one day and they sold 30,000 vehicles on their online store in three days. So they're selling about 10,000 vehicles per day with this price cut and people are canceling their orders for other Chinese brands and ordering Teslas instead. So you can see where Tesla, because they have a very high profit margin, they can pull these levers pretty hard and they can reduce these prices substantially and every other manufacturer in maybe not BYD but I think even they are really barely scraping by so they're either making no money or barely any money on every EV sold and because of that fact that means that Tesla is able to pull these levers and reduce their prices and other competitors can't follow along they can't take a five or seven thousand dollar loss per vehicle that's just not 
sustainable, right? You can't do that. You can't take a loss. You'll make it up in volume, right? <laughs> but anyway, so Tesla can do this. They can reduce it and make, you know, four or 5% margins instead of their traditional 25% or so margins. And they can, they can reduce these prices drastically. They could do this in the US and Europe as well and just completely blow everybody else out of the water. So we're looking at Tesla already being in a position where they can dominate with luxury vehicles. And I don't know about you guys, but the Tesla Model Y would be the first luxury vehicle we ever purchased, right? It was even at the time when it was less expensive in 2020, it was double what we had ever paid for any other vehicle before. So we had always been mass market vehicle purchasers, but we stretched ourselves a lot to get a Tesla and to pay up front. And we've saved an awful lot of money in the meantime. So it's actually, you know, it's making up for itself and the cost of ownership is coming down. So overall, what we're getting is a luxury vehicle for total cost of ownership of much closer to a mass market vehicle. But again, what is going to happen when Tesla produces and sells this mass market priced vehicle, it is going to be a complete nightmare for everybody else. So while it's super awesome that Tesla beat BMW in the United States to become the top rated luxury brand in the US, that's not really the important part. The important part is what happens in 2023 and especially 2024 when they release a less expensive vehicle. And of course, with the Cybertruck, when Tesla enters the truck market as well, which is something they're not even competing with in the United States right now. When this all happens, when Tesla's master plan kind of comes to fruition in the next, say, 18 months to two years, I don't know who is going to catch up. I just don't know like what manufacturer will be able to catch up with Tesla. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it fun and interesting and thought provoking. I would love to know what you think about all of this in the comments. If you want to leave comments about who could potentially take Tesla's crown as the best luxury brand and or what will happen to the market when Tesla does release a less expensive vehicle. In the meantime, if you did enjoy the video, please do like it so other people can find it. And of course, consider subscribing for more of this kind of content. As always, a huge Huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. I truly do appreciate all of your support. And of course, if you want to join the team, just check out the link in the description. And if you're interested in a whole bunch of really cool merch, check out our merch store. Link is in the description. We have Tesla bot t-shirts, the Tesla meme t-shirt, success is a possible outcome, 4680 battery cells. All of that stuff is on t-shirts, mugs, tumblers, and on and on. So check it out. And for those of you interested in investing, check out Webull, an amazing platform for buying and selling stocks, and now cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and others. Open an account and get a free stock valued at up to $200, and fund your account and get another free stock valued at up to $1,600. Check out the link in the description and help the channel at the same time. Thank you. And finally, don't forget we are both Tesla and Amazon affiliates. If you look in the description, you can see how going shopping for a solar roof, a power wall, or anything on Amazon helps out the channel. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.